everyone, my name is Sylvia and today I'm coming at you with an Upwork update. As you can see right here on my profile, we now have this new button where we can add a consultation service to our profiles. They actually emailed me about it yesterday, so it's fresh off the press. And I really like the concept because I actually had a consultation um, project in my project catalog. So I really appreciate that they are creating this specifically for that purpose where clients, you know, can buy directly on Upwork and book a time on your calendar. And I also found it really interesting that even if they cancel within 24 hours of the call, you still get paid because that's a big issue when clients cancel, you know, really closely to the date, you don't have time to book that time with another client. So I really appreciate them doing that. And I thought, why not set it up together with you guys? So you can do that uh, if you got this email, of course, you can do that through the email or through your profile, which is what I'm about to do. So you can essentially click this button on your profile and you will be taken to the project setting page. Uh, so the first step is to tell them your areas of expertise. So I'm going to put marketing strategy and I don't see anything about oh, social media. And I'm going to see if I can find something else to add and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, so now that we've told Upwork what our expertise is in, we gotta tell them how much we're going to charge for this. So I'm going to set it up as $60 per 30 minutes. That's good. Uh, I can fill this out later. Uh, and then they say to qualify for payment protection, which is great. Um, you got to pick one of these. You got to deliver something after the call. So either a meeting summary, time and cost estimate or a project plan. I may put them all and put delivery to seven days just in case. So I'm going to fill this out now and I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, so I just filled this out. I kind of copy and pasted <laughs> from the project I had in a project catalog. Now let's go on to the next step, which is your availability. So I believe they had me link the calendar a couple months ago. So yeah, um, I'm going to delete Mondays because I don't want to have this on Mondays. So maybe I'll keep it like this. And I'm assuming we can edit this later, so I'm not worrying about it too much. Uh, other settings, minimum booking notice. Yes, I definitely like this. I don't like people booking for that same day. Uh, future limit. Yeah, four weeks sounds about right. So I'm going to keep this as a default and save and continue. Client requirements. Yes, this is cool. Asking them what they want to talk about and you can set frequently asked questions. So I'm going to do this. And once again, I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. 20 minutes later. All right, I just, it took me a while, but I just filled this out with the requirements from the clients and some of my frequently asked questions. I actually went in my messages to see what people reach out to me about regarding this project. So let's move on to gallery okay so i'm going to have to put some project images and potentially a project video and a sample document uh, i'm going to check for that and i'll see you guys in a second all right i'm thinking i'll probably record a video for this later but i put a modified version of this project image here and I'm probably going to create like somewhat of a template or a mock document with the information that I said I would include. Where was it? Right here on pricing. I'll create a mock document for these, the project plan, the cost estimates and the meeting summary. Uh, and I'll probably upload it there as a PDF. But now onto the policies. I just have to agree with this. I'll read it later. Uh, agree and agree and we should be done. All right, just kidding. I wanted to go over these policies with you guys. 
So after the client books with you, you actually have 24 hours to send them a message and acknowledge their booking or else it will impact your responsiveness score, which the only problem I see here is I don't like to respond during the weekends, but we'll see when we get to that. Cancellation, you can cancel anytime. Like I said, they don't get a refund if they cancel within 24 hours. And if you cancel within 24 hours, it affects your job success score. Uh, late attendance, uh, you or your client can be up to five minutes late. I like that. And no show. If you don't show up, the client can file a dispute and ask for their money back. And if they don't show up, you still get paid. So it sounds good. I'm going to submit this now. And it's now sent for review. Pretty simple overall. And I'm really excited to see how this will work out. Um, is it in the project catalog? Oh, okay, it's here, right below it. And I'm assuming like the project catalog, we'll be able to make edits to it later. So I'll add that video, that PDF, and any other FAQs that show up. So yeah, that was a very quick video that I wanted to make for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like or a comment down below with any questions, any feedback or requests for any future videos. I post all about freelancing and social media every single Friday, but this is a bonus video and I'll talk to you guys on Friday. Bye.